Super Smash Bros. director Masahiro Sakurai walked us through a 22-minute scriptless presentation of the new character hero from the iconic JRPG Dragon Quest. And he snuck in a couple new things in patch 4.0 as well. All right, let's discuss. Sakurai starts off the presentation with a reminder that Dragon Quest XI-S, Echoes of an Elusive Age, is coming to the Switch on September 27th. ProGuides is bringing an in-depth analysis on Hero's moveset soon, but Sakurai does a lot of talking about the Hero's aesthetics. The attention to detail here is insane. Hero has four distinct forms, all from different Dragon Quest games. The first hero, Eleven, is from the soon-to-be-released Dragon Quest game, Dragon Quest XI-S, Echoes of an Elusive Age. He's voiced by Mitsugi Saiga. The second hero, Arusu, in Japanese, or Erdrick, in English, is from Dragon Quest III, The Seeds of Salvation. This hero is voiced by Nobuyuki Hiyama. The third hero, Solo, hails from Dragon Quest IV, Chapters of the Chosen, and is the ancestor of the Bride from Dragon Quest V, Hand of the Heavenly Bride, voiced by Takeshi Kusao. And the fourth hero, Eight, also joined by hamster friend Munchie, comes from Dragon Quest VIII, Journey of the Cursed King. He's voiced over by Yuki Kaji. No word on if the mouse will have voice lines. Idrisil Altar is from Dragon Quest XI-S, Echoes of the Elusive Age. This is the stage that you get with Hero as part of the Fighter Pass or from buying the character individually. The stage is a couple of rotating platforms that come in and out of playable areas on the stage. Sakurai notes that all the details that were put into the stage, like the flying creature, Sitasia, who passes by the battle, which takes place sky-high over the lands known as Erdria. Then there's the Rainbow Bridge, Aborea, and the Havens Above. You'll notice the slimes and tockles appear sometimes on the stage as well, but sometimes you can see metal and liquid slimes too. These are beloved creatures from the Dragon Quest series. All right, all right, like we said, there's a whole Pro Guides video coming out soon about the hero, so stay tuned, but make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn on those notifications when that drops soon. But let's get into a few things coming in patch 4.0 aside from the character balance changes. Well, more me costumes are coming. The first costume is Veronica from Dragon Quest XI-S. The second costume is Erdrick from Dragon Quest I. The third costume is a basic martial arts costume that totally doesn't look like it's from one of your favorite anime shows or anything. And the fourth costume is just a hat that resembles the slime from the Dragon Quest series. The pros don't use final smashes, and in standard tournament rule sets, the final smash meter is always turned off. But it's worth a note that the meter will now deplete over time. You can't just run away and hold the advantage from your friends when you're playing casually anymore. Never got to play World of Light? That's okay. Sakurai mentions that they will be adding a new, very easy difficulty if you want to breeze by most of the hard spirit or boss battles. You can also now bet your coins in the new spectator mode for online matches and try to predict who will win. With these coins, you can buy new spirits and other game items. In 4.0, there will be an online tournament mode added as well. The rules will change periodically according to Sakurai, and there will be special event tournaments coming soon. Be sure to enter those tournaments and show everyone that your Ganondorf isn't just a pocket pick. Small changes to the video editor are coming soon as well. You can now add screenshots into your videos, so make sure to screenshot your favorite taunt. What are you guys most excited for in patch 4.0? Want to see an in-depth hero analysis video? Subscribe here to our YouTube channel and be sure to enable notifications so you know when it drops. That's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Good luck in your next few games, and we'll see you on the ultimate stage.